vergonha. Que isso, agora que tinha que aparecer o rostinho. Recording has started. Bom, galera, o, o River vai started. apresentar aí pra gente como é que colocam os arquivos estáticos no S3. E aí, pra gente treinar inglês, a gente vai tentar meter aqui o, o inglês, meio aportuguesado mesmo, mas o que importa é, é colocar em prática aí. E se der tempo... Dá tempo não, de repente como é que eu vou lá, de repente a gente fala alguma coisa sobre é, questões de processo seletivo e essa, essa seria a, a motivação também para fazer o processo, o aula em inglês, né? Porque você vai fazer processo seletivo para a empresa gringa, você vai ter que falar inglês mesmo, você teria que explicar o código em inglês. Uhum. So, River, whenever you, you want to, okay. to, to give your class. Well, um... I don't uh, see uh, uh, you because uh, we, uh, uh, do you see my my screen? Yeah. Okay. Um, not, uh, here. Well, it's uh, so simple to configure uh, the settings dot why to to put uh, our static files in the S3 on uh, AWS. We need uh, to, to put the, 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 uh, the files there. Uh, only we need is oh, uh, this uh, Boto3, Boto3, sorry, uh, a, a library, Boto3, and uh, S3 folder storage. I I will open my requirements. I created a requirement uh, slash AWS. When I, when we uh, install Boto3 here, uh, semi uh, dependencies will uh, install it too. And <clears throat> Uh, Boto core, jungle storage, doc uh, JMES path, <coughs> Python the uh, well, this is this here. But uh, I saw uh, together the collect fast, but I talk about this uh, later. Okay. <coughs> uh, Instead of the apps, uh, the, the libraries, uh, we put the. Uh, <coughs> I, I do uh, in. Uh, what I said is. Uh, I do the configuration. I, I put all configuration about uh, the, the uh, storage configuration uh, together in uh, part of code. Well, because this I put this install apps dot append uh, storage and S3 folder storage and I I know I don't put here uh, together uh, the install apps okay and <clears throat> here we configure uh, the variables uh, necessary to to authenticate and uh, working there. The, these two first uh, were the access keys, and the, the two access keys, or key ID and the secret access key. Okay, uh, the bucket name, okay. Uh, some parameters we need to, to pass to S3, I put here a uh, cache control uh, with max age, this number, 8644 uh, 100. And <coughs> preload uh, pre metadata, uh, the possibility to create a bucket uh, by code uh, and uh, 
uh, fossil kerosene. Um, some of these uh, variables I I see in many uh, tutorials uh, in the internet. Okay. Well, <clears throat> here uh, we define well uh, the media folder in our uh, buckets. Okay. Uh, here are the S3, uh, S3 folder storage app uh, uh, to the full file storage. Uh, we define the path uh, here, media, and uh, media rule change media URL. Uh, the same, the same uh, uh, form uh, we, we do to uh, static assets. Uh, well, uh, all of us uh, now uh, the difference uh, between media folder and the static folder okay well here uh, the files like uh, uh, jpg and or png or any other images but uh, upload by the user of the our okay. site here static files uh, the images.css.gs we uh, work uh, in development. Okay. Let, let me ask you: uh, Is this project going to to work on a local machine once you are referring for for uh, all those? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, when I, I run the manage dot, uh, Python manage dot by collect stacks, uh, uh, the manage dot by put the, the local files into the the uh, S3 AWS. Service. But I mean, okay. if, if I, you don't have if you don't have an account there, so the, the project is not going to work locally, right? You will need to like right. to, to make the setup there. If you don't have it, it's not going to to, to work there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just, yes. just asking maybe something that that we can work later to make work uh, both locally without having uh, uh, an uh, an account on Amazon. So you can just run uh, maybe, uh, yes. in fact, using uh, the, the, the bug uh, and, and running locally as, as you, you, you do without having a, an account there on Amazon. But that, that's okay. Keep going. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. No problem. You. No problem. Yeah. Uh, 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 the first, uh, the, uh, the first uh, way that I think to solve my, this problem is uh, use the if with the uh, variable, local variable debug when uh, only true in uh, development environment, okay? And I put this, this uh, configurations, that is the, the same in, when I uh, when we uh, create a Jagon project, okay? But uh, it's not a good uh, thing, uh, but uh, if and else in the settings.py. And uh, yesterday in the, in the meeting, uh, in the webinar with uh, 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 I talked with the Juan and I, I uh, uh, he told that uh, uh, well to make uh, the they uh, uh, he do the he did the configuration he, he, I I uh, I asked he, he, uh, he to the uh, her, uh, in call, uh, la, 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 la. Uh, and uh, when I I read uh, you asked him to implement the same thing on, on his code so he could test if it it's it was working is that yes 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 and I see that 
just because I I, I use this this uh, situation of, of the, this conditional to solve my when I see uh, in code I don't know sorry o pronome fugiu o código dele his code his thank you. his code é simple sim, uh, simple uh, he do this this uh, not the same the same way but uh, he, uh, he did this configuration only in the setting that part and I I asked uh, he about the local uh, environment, working, huh? yep. yeah, yes, the local environment, and uh, uh, he told me uh, this this only uh, work when uh, when <clears throat> we uh, execute the Python manage that pipe call it tactics. That's great because uh, we and <clears throat> we don't need to execute this code only when we execute the collect st static. No? Well, I don't know if I I answer your question, but uh, yeah, can I make uh, a question? We, okay. So. Why don't you use two settings settings file, one for local and one three in the case, one for local development, uh, production, and a base settings? Ah, I think so it's not well, necessary. then you could you could split the 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 settings from AWS AWS and local in between them. Okay. I, I understand your question, but I, I think uh, it's not necessary because uh, uh, first, to, to work uh, with uh, AWS, you need a, an account on AWS, okay? And uh, we don't, uh, just in production, just in, uh, in development environment. And uh, when, when we have an account uh, there in AWS, uh, we don't know, we don't need uh, uh, two settings dot by. Uh, so let me make another question. Let's say you are changing the front end of the application. You are changing the CSS file or the JavaScript file. Since the JavaScript and the CSS are being served by AWS. Every time you make a change, you you would need to run collect that before actually seeing the modifications in the browser. Uh, yeah, I understand. Yeah. I don't think about this. Yeah, and, and in uh, fact, in fact, if you don't have uh, internet connection, if you are let's say in a airplane, yes. you will not be able to 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 make the change on yeah. the, the, the and, and even access it because you need. Uh, Probably if you have it on your browser cache, maybe you'll be able to 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 run the website. Okay. But if you change it, but 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 mm, that that's okay. That that that's something that we can uh, think think about later. Uh, maybe the solution uh, proposed by uh, Augusto about creating another settings or doing some hacking. Uh, or, or maybe some if because I had to use that on Sentry, but the the only thing that I I thought that using the bug as the flag it was not good. You could use you you yes, could, yes. you could use like uh, maybe the let's say the a AWS secret access key that that would be a better uh, flag because if you if you have if you have defined it, okay, you have an account there. But if you haven't, probably it's because you are locally and, and running that. That, that. That's the only thing. Maybe you can do put the if there. Maybe you can uh, split. But I just asked it uh, because I was curious. Because I agree with you, August, that we need to run it locally without depending on, on okay. external services. I, I, I agree with you. 
Yeah, it, so yeah. if if we were using something like Webpack, we could serve the static files locally before actually sending them to AWS S3. But since this front end are not decoupled from the back end, maybe we could start with this hacking of setting this if debug and then changing for something better, as you said. But for me, I don't know if that's if could be if it could be raise some problem. But if debug and adding the the settings inside the condition, it's fine. It's fine to start with. It's not beautiful, but it's fine to sort. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand. Yeah, it's not beautiful, but and uh, I, it works. I told, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it works. Uh, uh, in the uh, after I do this uh, this code here. I I you uh, used uh, I used it here. Before. No, no, no. But um, you 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 see, uh, I was the only the only objection that I've done is that because he was using the the, the bug there, and maybe sometimes you need to run in debug mode on production, but you don't want to 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 maybe to. Uh, how can I say that? You want yeah. to, to run the static files there, so maybe it's better uh, depending on maybe the uh, another uh, yeah another variable there, probably AWS so, secret yeah, okay. access key. But in, in that case, you could also start with if you are using I don't know in Windows, but if you are using some Unix, you could start something like debug equals to false, then Python manage dot py. Uh, uh, start app so you before you and then but with that setup you you need to also use python decouple or something yeah. to to split the the configuration before you you pass the variable inside the command in the terminal you know yeah yeah before you actually run it so you previously define you will previously define the variable before using it it may work. The command will become something uh, a little bit large, larger, but maybe work. May work. Okay. Okay. Well, after after this configuration, uh, we can uh, discuss about uh, the, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you and 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 no, uh, no distract problem. you from from the main problem, which is generating the the. The stack files itself. Okay. No, but it, it it's no problem. But uh, after this configuration, okay, I put here, and uh, now uh, I need to put here because it, the collect fast needs to uh, to stay above the jungle country static files. It's, it's necessary to put here the app collect fast in the styled apps, okay? On this end, uh, here uh, we, the AWS preload metadata ends. Sorry. Uh, uh, no. Just a minute. Um, I I use the help uh, preload metadata and static files to raise. Uh, I need to define it because they collect fast. Uh, what collect fast do? Uh, it don't uh, it uh, don't uh, when I say uh, don't uh, when I have a uh, example uh, 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 in image images of layout of the site uh, 
we don't uh, change these images anytime, but always we uh, we do the deploy uh, the the uh, the these files uh, will be sent to the S3 on AWS. Okay. With the collect fast, uh, it's not uh, uh, it's not permit. I don't know. I say this uh, in this form, but uh, uh, it <clears throat> uh, the library compare with uh, the files we have in the S3 and the files. Uh, that we don't have change. Uh, it's not. Uh, you will uh, only send the, the. You will only send the diff of yeah, the, the, the static files, right? Yes. Uh, when I, I put this configuration on uh, on my the WTTD project, and I, I do the collect text uh, by the first time. All the 129 archives, archives uh, will uh, will be sent to to S3, and the second time uh, zero archives yeah. uh, was be sent to S3. I I think it's cool. very good press. Yes. I, I I I think I think it's a good a very good press because uh, uh, don't uh, uh, well wow. overload the, 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 the network. Uh, they yeah. collect fast. Uh, uh, sorry. Okay, go <laughs> ahead. Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, they collect fast library uh, use the metadata uh, to compare uh, all files. Uh, we have in S3 uh, using diff, you know, uh, the, the library use the metadata files to um, proceed uh, to uh, send uh, only files we not contains an S3 bucket. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. on, on files which have changed or that you have created as pretty new ones are going to be uploaded to the S3 bucket. This is the main idea that I got. You can uh, correct yes. me if I'm, I'm wrong, uh, Hiva. That it's going to no, send it's, only it's, those it's, ones that have good. changed it or, or the ones that you have created as pretty new uh, static files there. Yes. Well, but I I I, I found that problem here because uh, we uh, use uh, deploy con uh, continuous deploy, okay? And uh, I, I have uh, I I had uh, some uh, uh, air horse on the Travis CI. I I show now we we. Uh, what I need to do to solve these problems, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, let's go to Travis. Uh, my WTTD project is my laboratory. All I, I, I need to do, first I do in the WTTD. Okay. When it is okay, <laughs> I, put, I, I do another project. <laughs> I would well, say that it uh, works here. like your sandbox project, so you can play yes. with, with the toys. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, here I need I need you to put in settings uh, this tree. Yeah. Uh, environment yeah. variable variable environment variables because he needed to test the the collapse stat. Okay. Uh, and the first problem I had, it's not there, uh, uh, was was the uh, uh, 
uh, I put in, in the in the Telegram. I need you to put the no no input in the Python managed collect set because uh, the collect set uh, do a question if it, uh, if uh, we can uh, we uh, uh, wow uh, uh, in fact uh, we need we need to do the collect set because uh, 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 overwrite uh, all the files, okay? And when, when here in this in this uh, line we, uh, of you collect static, uh, we need to put uh, no input uh, dash dash no 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 input, okay? And when okay this uh, this uh, this pass, but I after this we I need to put uh, to set in uh, this uh, environment variables. Uh, I I I see the Travis is very cool because uh, uh, don't show the the contents of the variable include in the in the log. Okay. Uh, uh, here. Have you okay. created a separate uh, segregated bucket only for the Travis, or have you used the, the same uh, credentials for the bucket that you are using on production? I I use the same the same bucket. Okay. I I understand uh, that uh, the the secret access key ID is the same of the production because uh because Rive, uh, Rive, uh, used uh, travis uh to uh, run all tests of project and uh the next step to update the code base of production environment so uh, 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 so uh, i understand uh, then uh, uh, you need to set the access key ID because uh, you you have to uh, you have to run the deploy uh, continuous. Okay. Okay. That's right. Uh, it's the same the same ambient environment. Okay. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. But my same, only question is that be, because he could like make a, a, in a different bucket because the collect start is going also to to be run by Heroku by default. If you don't do nothing on Heroku and he, it knows it's a Django project, it runs. Uh, and because it was failing uh, on on our project that we are working at Python Pro website, I needed to I needed to disable. The collector stacked on Heroku. I, I had to to set a, a environment variable there, explicitly, explicitly telling Heroku to not run the collect stack there because it it was not working and I needed to to make the, the, the settings on AWS. But but but, but, but that's it, no problem. Uh, the the code uh, in the in the project uh, Python Pro uh, has a uh, error. I uh, I I don't I don't put the pull request only uh, yet, not only. But uh, I I do the you fix it. Uh, yes, uh, I I I, sir, uh, I I review all the code, and uh, I I found the semi semi errors. Uh, in the first code uh, that I put here, I uh, put, put there, okay. Okay. And, uh, now it's it's fixed. I I, I think it, we uh, we don't have problem because it, uh, uh, it's the same code uh, uh, working in the, my uh, uh, send project WTTD. It, it, it work correctly and then. Uh, now it, I think it, uh, we don't have problems in the in the Python Pro project. Okay. I, I, 
so uh, I also had the same problem with Heroku who run in collect stack stat. And the problem was that there was no static root defined on my settings settings.py file. Oh, okay. When you don't have the settings, the, the, the static root defined, Heroku doesn't know where to put your static files. So it arises that exception. It may be Heroku or Travis. Heroku. Heroku. Uh, like, like this, uh, static root or static array? URL. No, static root. Uh, I, oh, this. You need to find static root, you know, os.path.join, basic drawer. Okay, like, 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 like this now. Uh, this case uh, with this case with S3, uh, the static uh, root, uh, we need uh, to be the URL of bucket, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, I understand. Because uh, because when you uh, run the collect static uh, from collect fast and junk storage, uh, 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 he uh, sent all the files on the bucket. So to uh, to access uh, these files uh, by by uh, static of Django, uh, then we need uh, set the URL of bucket uh, assigned in stacked root. Uh, to access all the stacked files. Yeah. Here, uh, what I'm seeing here is that you have a problem on your static assets section on this code because, look, you are defining static S3 path as static, and just below you are defining static root as static path. So your mm -hmm. static root is just static, and Django doesn't know where what static is. You need to to use the OS library to build the path to the project to the project folder. It's something like uh, I will send you, but you need to to pass the full. You need to define the full path to the folder, not just the name of the folder. You know? Yeah, I understand. But but uh, th this is my my first code uh, about this. Uh, the, I I follow the tutorial. Uh, uh, I say static root, but is stack URL. Uh, sorry. Okay, okay. But uh, the OS library works with the. The yeah, I think it's only locally. S3. It's not only, yes, I think but it's by so locally or Augusto. I think when you are serving because locally, it, because here, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, okay, but the OS library is just when you are working locally, but there with that configuration, you are. It's not the the bucket path, you know. It's just a, a static folder. Okay, but it, this is it, static folder. Oops. Uh, here, oh, I I I show the. Uh, okay, I am in my. VM event X, uh, my bucket in the Amazon S3. So, uh, that this this static uh, path is related is to the exactly bucket. Yeah, this relates to the bucket, not to my project. And oh. my my uh, the, the the structure of class the of path of my 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 project is here. Uh, VM, uh, like it, uh, VM event text. Okay. And here okay, I, I, I can, 
I, I, but I, they I have wrote admin, CSS, Django extensions, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. understood, but it's not that what is defined. Take a look at the static root again. You know, you look, you are, the static root is not related to the path. It, you are just substituting the string. You may need to, to concatenate static S3 path with, with something else, with another path to indicate that the path you need is the bucket path because here, what is inside static root is simply static. It's just the string static. It's not pointing to, to any bucket, you know? Look, you are just substituting strings. I understand the uh, I understand uh, the 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 variable static s3 path is used to receive all the files uh, when run uh, the collect uh, static. So uh, yes. uh, like I, I would say, uh, uh, I understand the I understand that static root uh, uh, it's work locally. But uh, to to production, uh, 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 it's uh, it's used something static URL and not in not static static root. Okay. Uh, 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 this uh, in case uh, of the production, not locally. Okay. You okay. understand? So uh, my question uh, about this, uh, uh, this uh, is uh, the static root defines this, not raise it the exception uh, when run the collect static because Sorry, uh, the uh, because uh, the collect fast override the collect static, okay. So uh, we need to find all the static files uh, in all apps of Django project to collect all these files and put in uh, the 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 in, uh, put in in the in the, in a single folder. In this case, the folder static on the on uh, the bucket. Uh, uh, on the buckets uh, example, okay. So uh, the static root not uh, 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 confuse the collect static to find uh, the static files, the all apps, and and then uh, copy these files and upload to S3 bucket. <sighs> Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> this, this is strange because, uh, see, uh, uh, I I can put this this variable like it here because it's the same. Okay, understand what, what I do? Here, yes. here. I, I was the, the word static, but the word static is here. And I, I when I use F strings, I, I, I change it here. The, the, well, but uh, again, I, 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 I say, I, I follow this, uh, I follow a tutorial to do this, and uh, I, I am, uh, Learning about uh, when I when uh, when can I see is work uh, <laughs> uh, the code work and I <laughs> sorry uh, I I I I think it's necessary to have, uh, to do the refactor uh, I don't know in English refactor uh, yeah but refactor uh, refactor the code the code but uh in the in this case the code uh was uh, was working and uh, and uh well it's the first the first uh thing we need to do okay uh, yeah, but, yeah. 
do work after <laughs> factory the code and uh, after do uh, better and I, I think it uh, need to study more about this this uh, configurations here mainly because this this factor here okay uh, to working in the uh, development environment well mm, uh, well I'm I'm looking to to the to the S3 documentation with Django and using Bottle Tree and Django Storage yes. and when you are working with a bucket you don't need to define this this static route. Yeah, because it, it's only the place uh, where where Django will put the files. I, I sent a link over there. On Stack Overflow, it seems that the static root is only the place where collect stack will, of course, collect stack files for deployment. So uh, that that's why maybe Boto it's not uh, uh, interested in the static root once probably it's going to copy or, or yes. collect it and not having to to put the files on some folder. I think this is only when you yeah, are putting yeah, the, the static maybe file. Maybe Boto is, the... is overriding the, yeah. the path. Yeah. Boto, instead of creating this static files folder, Boto is overriding the this configuration and to send the the data, the static files to to AWS. I don't know how, but it's interesting. We may could we could look to the Boto source code and find what. What is the magic ah. behind this? Okay, uh, uh, before I, I do this configuration, uh, this uh, when the major folder in this on the static the static assets, when I I, I run the code, uh, this uh, uh, folders, admin, CSS, Django, font, uh, etc. Uh, was put here uh, in the root yeah. of the the bucket. When when I do when I do this configuration, uh, I I I I could to separate the the files. Yeah. But the static assets is here, and uh, I I don't have the uh, examples here. Yeah. My if we uh, we we have. Uh, we have uh, upload uh, of file in the event tags. Uh, the the file uh, uploaded uh, it's put here in the the event text slash media. Okay, uh, I ha I have I have it, uh, some example in the image range. Uh, I studying this. Uh, well, I don't have <laughs> sorry, but my assets is here. And when I I do the upload, uh, when I uh, re, uh, subscri uh, subscription, I don't know, uh, I do the uh, cadastro de um imóvel lá do da porcaria do negócio que eu fiz. Vim, uh, it, it's pop, it, it's uh, saved here in the media. Okay, when I upload the the, the file by the app and uh, when it, it's it's possible because the this configuration yeah here. yeah, yeah I, I what i bet always is that uh define this static route would make sense uh probably when you are going to deploy using nginx and you are going to configure uh to, so nginx can uh serve the static files from some uh uh, path in your system. So before you deploy yeah. the, the project, it's going to build on this static root, and you need to provide this configuration on Nginx installing where this this path is, so he, so Nginx can find it and serve the file. So probably for the the AWS, we don't need it because Boto is going to to handle the files and don't need. Uh, 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 directory inside of our project when when we are deploying it 
I, I think so. I would bet, but yes. I'm not sure, but I would bet. Yeah, it. I, agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, Hiva? Yes. Uh... <laughs> You can say that we are uh, painting the ass here. Yeah, you, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what then uh, I need to talk about the this configuration? Uh, it, it's it. I, I don't I don't have any more. The, the uh, I uh, I do the three required files. Okay, uh, the requirements dev. Yeah. Uh, requi uh, the requirements and and I, I I do the requirements of AWS to separate the the code and the libraries. If 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 in the future uh, we we change the the server when we save the static files. Uh, it's uh, simple to to uh, uh, well uh, improve the the code to to use this this new server. Uh, for for example, it's only. And, and and about the account creation on Amazon, it was simple. Was it was it simple? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the only the only step is so uh, stranger for me because uh, I I suffer so much because of this when when I uh, in the permissions uh, uh, we needed to put a code like this. I think this is a JSON, okay. Yeah, and the only the only uh, uh, modification we need to do is put the, the name of the bucket here. Uh, only after after uh, assign the, the uh, and create account in the AWS when you, we uh, access the Amazon S3 services, create a bucket. Okay, then uh, choose a region, South America, Sao Paulo, next. I, I don't mark anything here, I, uh, next. I need to put the, the user here. Yeah. Uh, I'm a uh, owner, okay, my uh, and create bucket, okay. After this, oh, see, uh, my two first buckets uh, have this bad, the public, yeah. public, access public, not public here, I need, uh, well, This return. Uh, mm, you have a course configuration there. Yeah. So probably you course. could you could allow only uh, maybe you could uh, I will see that later. You could maybe configure so only some uh, domains maybe could access it or something like that. Okay. Oh my God. Ah, okay. Well, what? Okay, then I wrote I wrong here. Okay, uh, this book has access public. Now mm, we have okay. that okay. you never went any kind of public access to your uh, yeah. This is what what I was talking. Probably you have you have uh, some way to to allow only some domains or, or having some some more complex uh, rules but that that's okay just for for playing around in the project uh, that that's okay. fine starting with, with it public okay okay it, it's so simple here uh, I uh, uh, in my cases 
so apps so simple like uh, the Eventex and the uh, Arrange. It's a uh, uh, VM branch. Uh, I don't know immobiliary in English. So uh, real estate, maybe something yeah, like that. Yes, real estate. Yes. And here, the, the, put this in there, which I think is uh, was wrong because uh, I broke the code in my tests and. Uh, uh, only this to uh, I use the S3 Amazon S3 on the in this uh, simple case, okay? Okay, and the, the permissions I put uh, was so uh, uh, click, click on the course so configuration just this out of curiosity. You, you see allow uh, origin uh, so maybe there you can uh, you can uh, you can set that that they allow origin you can put your your domains where you can yeah. access it uh, okay. so you could restrict uh, the, the, the websites okay. that can access uh, your 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 stuff because once like, you start to upload like media it. there yeah. Maybe you could uh, do that if you have this uh, domain. You could uh, try it. I I'm not sure because I would need to, but this is all about course that you need to configure to uh -huh. be able to, to access it. But if you put uh, your uh -huh. domain, uh, you, you, you allow your, your browser to access it. But with this uh, asterisk, it's going to be allowed for anyone, so anyone can just yes. enter and try to access your your stuff on your bucket. Like, like here in the allow the hosted here. Yep. In the yep. Like like this. Yep. Okay. Exactly. But but this this code uh, is. Uh, a default, okay, have a default code, the, the course configuration have the full code, but the policy no, don't have a default code. I suffer very, <laughs> very, very much to, 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 to find the simple, fa to, to, <laughs> to find the simple, the simple one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, Line. Oh, sorry, I I <laughs> the line with the number in the, the, in, okay, and uh, to find the in the only step we need to do is to change the num the name of the bucket here. Yeah. Here is Ben test Ben, uh, and and so on, and it, uh, it works fine. Okay. Uh, well, it's it, it's it, it's that when the tools, tiny tools, go. So that's all, folks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, the the first uh, the first twelve month yeah. of uh, when you uh, uh, create your account here in AWS, you have uh, all I don't know it's all services, but I I I know uh, Amazon S3, uh, ACS, I I think uh, free. Uh, by the way, for, for 12 more. After this uh, this period, I, I, I don't know what the cost, the cost because I, I don't uh, I don't research about it. Okay. Okay. Guys? Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, 
I'm not alone. No, no. August, August in fact, uh, has sent some info about uh, the related stuff, let's say, like that, with the static media there. Have you ever uh, uh, uploaded some file using those configurations just to, to, to test if it was if Django was really uploading the file to your bucket and you could access it after the, the fact? It's for me? Oh, for anyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the, the problem that I said Heroku have with the media files is that the Heroku storage by default is volatile. It will not keep the path to the, the media file. So it will probably take the name you you send with the name of the static file and add uh, a hash number or a hash value to the file. So when you try to read the file, the media file with Django, you will not find the file because the, the name was changed. So Hiro I, I don't I don't think I don't have I'm not sure, but I think Heroku has an add-on to to make this management of static files and media files a little bit easier. But the the good practice is to serve everything from S3, as yeah. he were did with static and media files. And do you think that maybe uh, Hever is not doing that with that settings? That that what you mean? What you mean on your message on the, the chat? No, my, my message on the chat the chat was to to answer the Gilson oh, question okay. about static. Okay. I, I will send the the Heroku addon for static files. Um, any questions more? Uh, Hiva. You can you can test the this media file stuff. You have a, a model inside your this Django project. No. No. If you want to test, you you can create a create a simple model and add uh, a, a I, image file and uh, test okay. if the uh, thing to, to will send the, the uh, file. Yeah, to test the, the upload of media files. Okay, in the WQ the project I don't, but uh, in the VM Renty I, I uh, show uh, to you, uh, I, I, I try the, the upload and in the uh, work, work uh, is without problems. Uh, okay. I try now here but I I do a a, a cadastro de imóveis uh, here to Just a minute So Clayton is sending is sent sent a question sent a question to the the chat asking if it wasn't easier to use nginx to serve the static files. Uh, maybe if you are also serving the Django application with Unicore and nginx, it may be simple. But if you are already using uh, Heroku to serve the Django application, you will need to to configure uh, another machine from from the ground up, install nginx, and use that machine with your Heroku 
Heroku configuration, so your application that's running on Heroku can find your machine. So for me, make that make no sense. I think you can run an Nginx in your own project. I, 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 I'm going to check that because when when I, I, I was checking on the on the on the link about the continuous delivery, I saw some different uh, configurations there for the proc file. I, I, I think the guys was using, in fact, Nginx in front of your service, not a green unicorn there. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to share the link with you guys so you can check on that. Oh, Heroku, by default, he uses Nginx to serve every Django application because it works something like that. You have your Django project and locally you run Python manage.py run server. So that server is just a development server. Uh, if you run manage.py run server in production, you may find some memory leaks. And also the Django debugger will expose some variables for your project. Unicorn it is a better uh, USGI server. So you, you can use Unicorn in production with you should use Unicorn in production with your Django app. Yeah. But you also need to use Nginx in front of Unicorn. Yeah. You, you need to use Django, Unicorn, and Nginx. Nginx will also uh, work as a reverse proxy to your application. So Nginx will communicate with your Unicorn. Six. In fact, Unicorn will, will generate a Unicorn.soc application, SOC file, and Nginx will find that SOC file and send, send traffic to the Unicorn server. I, I followed the, the, yeah. the first link that I sent. You can check the proc file from the, the guy that, yeah. that uh, shared the stuff about the continuous delivery. And you, if you check the web, uh, uh, let, let me share here so people can can see on the video as well. Oh, this one, yes. Are you guys able to see my screen? Yeah. So check check this line here. So it seems the guy is, is already doing that, of course, uh, running the, the uh, wing unicorn uh behind uh any jinx uh server uh it seems on the uh, same uh, machine what what okay go ahead but uh, i think he he did that because he also had this unicorn.conf file maybe when you override the default unicorn configuration on heroku you also need to start nginx to find the unicorn process mm, i will it. send you the link Got it. Yeah, but but I, I mean that way, if he's like uh, accessing the energy next, could he like only configure the energy on the same machine that is r running the green unicorn just to serve to serve the, the stack files there? Oh, mm, but on Heroku, yeah, I'm not sure. I I don't think so because you need to over he with uh. What I understand that is he's just calling the Unicorn process from Nginx. He don't have access to the Nginx configuration file. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Let's let me see this this project. Oh, in fact, he he does have access to the Nginx, but it's he's all. Uh, take a look. He is also overriding the default Nginx configuration file. In fact, when I saw that, I thought uh, I thought uh, in asking. In fact, I need to ask if that was the right way. Only uh, running green unicorn on on. Heroku, but if you say that they are already using uh, Nginx, so I just need to expose the, the green unicorn stuff there. Uh, 
so make the process easier. So I don't have to know nothing about the NNG, NNGX at all to start my project there. Yeah, uh, by default, you don't need to override any NGINX configuration on Heroku. Heroku will, will use NGINX to serve your application. If you take a look at the, the, the Google, Google Chrome on the development developer tools, with some page that's being served by Heroku, we will see that Nginx is the the headers. Server. Yeah, yeah, the headers. So, but by default, you just need to define the the proc file to start the unicorn process. You don't need to do anything else because let let's think about it. If you are if you are using Heroku to don't have headaches with the infrastructure of your application, if you start changing everything, it makes no sense to use Heroku. Heroku is also expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's why I prefer using the, the I, I think the best way is using the S3. Otherwise, if any jinx is start to serving, uh, that, that, that was my answer on the chat as well. Because it's better using a CDN, so your server don't need to handle that traffic at all. And probably yeah, the price of S3 is very, very much cheaper than running it yeah, all inside the road. Uh, I have some clients with using S3 and I just pay cents, you know. Uh, 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 also, when I'm using your to for a project, I always use a CDN in front of the application. Okay, that's it. More questions for Hiva, anyone? No, I, I, I'm so cool about I I... Clayton, uh, Gilson, Thiago. Okay, that's it. That's it. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording right now. If you if you decide to uh, talk about uh, more stuff or maybe uh, job interview, tech interview, we can start another another record so the video will not be so huge, more than, than it is a red right now. <laughs>